Hey, Bulldog Country. This is Jen Walter, uh, softball coach here at UMD. Um, hope you are all healthy um, and doing well. Um, it's a nice day outside. A bit chilly, but I thought I'd uh, come out to the field just to see if it's still standing. Yes, it is. Um, yeah, our season came to an abrupt end. Um, we actually uh, played our last game uh, down in Florida. Um, finished up at about 9 o'clock. And by less than 24 hours later from that, uh, we were done playing. So it was a little bit of an abrupt ending. It was a disappointment, uh, devastating to, to all of us. Um, but um, life goes on and we've tried to make the best of it. Uh, our season, we ended with a nine and 12 record um, and arguably played the toughest uh, non-conference schedule that we've had, a lot of top 10, top 25 teams. Uh, we were in every game we played. I was actually really happy. I thought we were poised um, to make a good run in the NSIC. I'm happy to report uh, we're currently undefeated in the NSIC and we are tied for first place. Um, so we got that to, to go on. Um, as far as the players, um, I've talked to all of them on a, on a weekly basis. We have a team meeting uh, every Tuesday at noon, um, which is always fun and exciting. It's always good to see them. They're doing well, everybody's healthy. Um, we also have, uh, I have a weekly meeting with them individually. Um, so I have plenty of time of talking with them. It's really actually kind of kind of nice to be able to, to talk to them about something other than softball um, as we're forced to it. There's not a lot of softball to talk about. Um, so that's been actually, it's kind of one of those uh, um, silver linings, which I'm seeing a lot of those um, lately. Is always something that happens that either you normally wouldn't notice during this time, or it's just a, an additional opportunity um, I've told our players and a lot of other people, I feel like, you know, we've been given the gift of time to do things that we never really feel we have time for. Uh, obviously, that came at great expense of losing our season, um, but it's my intention to make the most of that time, and that's kind of the message we've given to the to the players. So they're hard at work with their academics, um, trying to do the best they can, um, and all that. Um, as far as our, our seniors, we had five seniors this year. Um, at this point, um, some couple of them have kind of committed to coming back, which we're happy about, and three of them are still kind of up in the air. So um, as we know that for sure and all the details are worked out, we'll certainly release that. Um, oh, the one thing I wanted to tell you about is we got a, a great class for 20 coming in. We've got 10, 10 freshmen uh, coming in. Unfortunately, their, uh, their high school seasons were um, cut short, just like ours. As a matter of fact, uh, most of them didn't play. Um, so I know they'll be excited to get here in September. Um, we got a pretty good diversity. We got two pitchers coming in, two catchers, actually three catchers, um, some infielders, some outfielders, some speed, some power. Really excited about that. They're coming from Minnesota, Wisconsin, and I even got a kid from Florida. So that's something to really be optimistic about, um, which is kind of just the way we're trying to approach this. It's, uh, I hate the word, but unprecedented, unprecedented times. Um, we're trying to make the most of it and you know we appreciate all the support you guys have given us um, and we can't wait we can't wait whenever it is we can't wait to, to get back together and give everybody a big old hug if that's even something we can do anymore um, so again um, even though we can't see you on a daily basis just know that we think about you and we um, we miss you and we can't wait to can't wait to uh, get together again so stay safe and stay stay healthy thanks <laughs>